Hello all, it looks like I am live. Let me just go to my business page and make sure. It is I, Catherine Massell, Intuitive Energy Healer, Ascending Earth Creatrix, Spiritual Growth Catalyst. And today we are going to be doing a little exploration. We are going to explore and open up to the energy of the causal chakra. There are uh, some of you who may not know what the causal chakra is, and that's okay, because I'm going to explain that to you in just a bit. Um, if you're joining, please say hi. Let me know you're here. I'd love to know who's here and where you're from, too, if you want to drop that in the comments. And it looks like I am live. Okay, cool. Excellent. So, again, my name is Catherine Massell. I am an intuitive energy healer. Hey, Becky. I am an Ascending Earth Creatrix. What does that mean? That means that we are all on the path of planetary ascension. We may be experiencing this to different degrees, but one of the things that um, I'm called here to do, very, very strongly called here to do, hey Norma, hi from Illinois, hello. One of the things that I'm called here to do is to um, assist others, specifically at this point in my journey to assist women to understand this process of what planetary ascension is all about and how we translate that specifically into our experience. Um, it's, it's no coincidence that we are feeling out of sorts. We are feeling uh, maybe even angry, irritated, agitated. The things that used to serve us very well, um, you might find yourself feeling a whole host of ascension symptoms um, one of the reasons why I started my mastermind, Heal, Awake, and Ascend, is to help you sort out what's happening with your ascension symptoms and help you to assimilate these very, very high frequency energies that are, you know, swirling and twirling around and flooding our awareness. And it makes us feel uncomfortable as we try to process this information in our physical body. And so we experience things called ascension symptoms. You know, we might have dizziness, we might have our ears ringing. Those of us who are already used to perceiving beyond the, the, um, the normal five senses um, are awakening to even further um, levels of our spiritual awareness and an expanding sense of awakening is taking hold for many of us. This can be uncomfortable. This can make us uncomfortable in our body. So it's really important to understand this process and to know that at this time we have so many spiritual tools available to us that can help us assimilate these energies in a way that it can be more comfortable. We can experience this with a lot more ease. Hey, Maya, hello, darling. So one of the things that I'm bringing in um, is this understanding of the causal chakra. This has always been there. We've always had a causal chakra. This is not a new thing, but we may not have had the awareness of it um, in the past like we do now. We have this whole stellar gateway, this, this realm, this, this um, passageway to other dimensions that exist, and again, it's always been there for us. And in the stellar gateway, there are these other chakras that are now beginning to awaken, begin to open. We're being um, invited to explore these areas. And in the upcoming chakra course that I have going on, this is actually the second time I'm teaching it, um, I am going beyond the seven major chakras that we are used to exploring, we're used to you know, working with, the root, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, the throat, the brow, and the crown, and opening up to, helping you open up to this awareness that is beyond the crown. There's a lot of things going on there. The causal chakra is just one of those. I see the causal chakra and the way I, I perceive it energetically is this kind of bridge or passageway that's actually in between the crown and the brow. And it's actually, the crown of the causal chakra is actually if you could visualize it holding physical space, it would be about three to four inches behind the head and right in the center. And what's really interesting about the, the causal chakra and um, what it does, what it governs, is that this is one of the higher chakras that really introduces us to the beginning of the stellar gateway. Even though it's perceived as this bridge between the brow and the crown, I see it also as the beginning of the stellar gateway. And the stellar gateway which is opening us up to higher dimensions of awareness, is this, if you could envision it, it would be a column of energy that holds the soul star chakra, the galactic chakra, and even beyond that, the universal chakra. 
these are the major ones that are coming through for me and I'm getting a lot of messages about how to hold space in these places and how to explore them in a way where we can really get access, gain access to greater spiritual tools that again since we're working with the, the chakras and the chakras are very amazing because not only are these transmitters that help us to pull in energies from ascended realms but they're also very powerful grounding antenna that can help us to take these things that seem rather nebulous or out there and ground them into our experience in a way that we can use them. This is the essence of, of 5D, of moving into fifth dimensional awareness as we're on this path, we're gaining traction on this path of planetary ascension. We're learning how to use these tools. And using the chakras is one of the best ways, one of the easiest ways for us to kind of understand what's happening, what's going on, and to bring these things into our awareness in a way where it feels comfortable, we can assimilate this stuff. We can kind of deconstruct it in a way that we can use it and better our lives, you know, move into greater levels of abundance that we hadn't even imagined before. So this is a really exciting way to um, work with the chakras. So the causal chakra, again, it's that introduction to the, to the stellar gateway. And the stellar gateway holds the essence of the soul star, the galactic, and the universal chakras. And all of these chakras right now, they're being awakened and energized now by these power surges. You know, what we're going through right now with, we've got, we're coming off the, the heels of this full supermoon in Gemini. We have a Mercury retrograde going on until into January. And then we also have uh, some solar storms happening. So there's a lot being burned away. There's a lot being activated right now. And these heightened ascension energies that come in when we have these kinds of power surges, like what's going on right now, it, we find this energy flooding our awareness and we can be overwhelmed because we just don't know what to do with it. Well, I'm offering you here today a way to work with these energies to bring in a greater understanding of what your causal chakra is, what it does for you, and how to work with it, how to explore in the causal chakra. And when this causal chakra is tuned, which is what we're doing today, we're actually tuning it, it opens up a couple things. It opens up the sacred feminine energy of receiving. Um, it connects us to higher vibrations of compassion, of purity, loving kindness. It opens up us to greater levels of perceiving through our intuitive awareness. It can also help us to bring in more information about past lives. This is a gateway to the Akash. So this awakens us to the expanded knowledge that's available to us in the, in the great Akash, working in the Akashic records, the hall of records, you know, the, our soul books. And it really opens up a seamless line of communication with the angelic realm also. And specifically, Archangel Christiel, which I had no idea Archangel Christiel even existed. And when I started working with the causal chakra and meditating on this and asking for more divine downloads about this, Archangel Christiel kept coming through. And I was like, who are you? <laughs> and Archangel Christiel governs this chakra, governs the causal chakra. But this is not just you know, the realm purely of Archangel Christiel. This opens up us, us up to all of the angelic kingdom when we work with the causal chakra, um, and specifically opening us up to the fourth plane of existence. So today, what we're gonna be doing, um, opening up and tuning the causal chakra, we're gonna receive this energy activation. It's an essence and an empowerment. And empowerments are energetic activations, and the best way I can describe empowerments is that it brings in, you already have this awakening process going on of the causal chakra and the higher chakras, the soul star, the galactic, the universal, whether you know it or not. You know, depending on how plugged in we are to working with um, energies that are beyond the veil of our regular five senses or being able to perceive with the regular five senses, depending on how, how you know, much we dip our toe in those waters, you will experience different degrees of awakening to the causal chakra. If today is your first introduction to working with the causal chakra at all, you might find some really wonderful revelations here today. You may find that you have new guides that are there um, willing and ready to work with you. Um, you might be, as I was when I started working with the causal chakra, introduced to a new archangel like Christiel. And maybe if you're not familiar with who he, she is, I, I perceive this archangel as very androgynous. Um, depending on on how I feel that day, I might have different um, attributes of Christiel coming through. Today, I have a feeling it's going to be more feminine because we're, we're bringing in a lot more sacred feminine energy here today. Um, you may find that if you do meditations on the Akashic Records, you might have a clearer glimpse of what's going on there. You might have 
Um, you may be even able to see in looking at the Akashic Records at your specific soul book passages, written passages that are more clear to you, that are more crystallized for you. Um, you're going to also have more clarity in right brain functioning. So that means, you know, opening the imagination, um, untethering the imagination, experiencing more big picture clarity um, on your life and your purpose specifically, and intuitively understanding more of the cosmic rhythms of the universe, more of the, the ebb and flow of things in the universe. And that might directly contribute to you having a lessening of some of the ascension symptoms that you might be experiencing right now. Hi, Pam. So this is the causal chakra tuning and empowerment. This is, this is a tuning. This is much like um, if you were to think of tuning the chakras in the same sense of tuning a radio dial and you're trying to get that station, you got a little bit of static, and just that working the dial a little bit can bring in more clarity and you know crystallization of what you're hearing, right? Well, the chakras are the same kind of thing. Hi, Dina. So today what we're really doing is working the dial of our causal chakra and being able to tune it in to our unique frequency that we're holding at this time. And at the same time, we are tuning our frequency into the vibration of the causal chakra and what it's really opening us up to. And this will allow us to bring in more spiritual tools that we can use to you know, go even further on our spiritual path and awakening at this time. So I'm super excited to bring this to you. And if you love this, if this really is, um, you know, opens up something for you, or if you have a revelation here and it just feels wonderful, you are going to love my eight-week chakra clearing and awakening course that's coming up. Coming up, it's starting on January 3rd. And today only, um, I'm going to call it my happy hour special. Um, the early bird price is already pretty inexpensive. It's 3.33 for an eight-week program. Um, which is pretty amazing because when you think of the chakra clearing and awakening, it's an eight-week course where each chakra that we're doing really is a master class in and of itself. So this course is worth about three times more than what I'm charging. But today only, um, if you're sign up, signing up for the chakra clearing and awakening today, you can get it for $2.99. Um, if you do the regular early bird pricing and you want to do the payment plan, I think it's two payments of $189. Two monthly payments in 189 you can sign up for that too but the chakra clearing and awakening is it's an eight-week live workshop it's on zoom it begins january 3rd and this is really not like any other chakra course you've ever taken um, if there's some ladies here that have been in the first round of it they'll tell you that too um, this is really a journey through each of the seven major chakras and then beyond um, clearing beliefs clearing the trapped emotions that are governed by each of those chakras so depending on the beliefs that we hold at each chakra level, we can either have an overactive, a hyperactive, or an underactive, a sluggish chakra. And when we clear the beliefs and the trapped emotions that are, the, that are governed by each of these energy centers, we can actually fine tune the chakras. Again, it's like working that dial, right? Tuning it in. And we can really experience a greater level of removing shadow, of, of even removing pain. Um, I've had some ladies in the course that were able to get rid of some physical pain as well. Um, this course really takes you beyond the crown chakra. As I mentioned before, we are opening up to the causal, to the soul star, to the galactic and the universal chakras, just to name a few. Um, and it really allows you to explore as you do this more of your cosmic essence, more of what you're here to do when you awaken to a greater understanding, especially of the stellar gateway and what, what information, what wisdom is there for you to tap into. And this is available to everyone on the planet. This is something we're all able to do right now. And this chakra course is just an incredible tool, I think, for being able to bring all of this wisdom and knowledge and ground it again, because the chakra, each chakra is like powerful grounding antenna, able to take these very high transmission energies and ground them into the physical body because we can't use any of it unless we can ground it, right? So each week we focus on, uh, focus on clearing the beliefs that are creating resistance in your life that are specific to each of the seven main chakras and beyond, right? And we heal and balance underactive and overactive chakras, any trauma, oaths, vows, or contracts that, were held, that are held in the ancestral karma, that are held in our energy through this lifetime or any other lifetime or timeline. Um, we are clearing and activating the DNA, awakening cellular programming, changing the cellular programming. And we'll pull and clear trapped emotions 
imbalances and unhealthy atta attachments that can happen when we are rooted in chakra energy that is either underactive or overactive. And there are, just like today I've divinely downloaded uh, this causal chakra essence, you're going to get four divinely downloaded crystal light ray attunements that bring in greater awareness of the higher chakras. And that includes the green tourmaline ray, which corresponds to the heart and the higher heart, the blue appetite ray for the throat, the citrine ray for the brow, and the indigo kyanite ray for the crown. And you're also going to be rooted into the sacred earth elements, which help you to ground all of these higher transmission energies coming in. So if you're interested, I'm going to leave the full description of the course in the comments, along with some links to sign up if you wanted to grab that today for $2.99. Um, it's really a bargain, and it's going to be an amazing and fun ride. So there's that. There's my spiel. So all you have to do today to receive these energies is be willing to receive this healing. Be willing to open up your awareness and be willing to explore. Um, hi, Catherine. Welcome. I'm glad you found us. So get yourself comfortable. You may find that lying down is a great way for you to experience this essence and empowerment today. You may knock off. You may go to sleep. This is not a bad thing. When this happens, when we fall asleep during activations, and I do tend to put people asleep during my activations sometimes, um, it's not a bad thing. You're still receiving the energy. But what happens is the ego just kind of slides away. It takes a back seat when we fall asleep. And it's a way for us to receive these energies without any kind of filter. So it's okay. Um, <laughs> Catherine. Uh, but if you want to be seated, that is perfectly all right too. However you want to receive this is perfectly fine. And this is something, usually I'll tell you, um, for instance, in my Heal, Awake, and Ascend Mastermind, we do a lot of energy activations in there. Um, we do a, a lot of things that sometimes we need three or four days to process and integrate what's going on before we can run the energy activations again. I find that with this one, you could run this again tomorrow if you want. If you don't feel too overwhelmed or, or knocked out by it, um, you could definitely you could run this again tomorrow. So, hi, pretty. Nice to see you. So get yourself comfortable. I have some music going in the background, which you may or may not be able to hear. But it's raising the vibration. When I run these activations, I like to listen to um, things that are either 428 hertz or higher because it puts us in our happy place and it puts us in an energetic vibration of receiving. So when you're comfortable and you're ready, I'm going to get a sip of water, which I highly recommend lots of water after this. And you guys are welcome to share this video. Um, this is on my business page, sh page, so it's shareable. So if you wanted to share this anywhere, please feel free. This is actually going to go up on YouTube later, and I'm going to be posting the replay. Pretty, all you have to do is be willing to receive this, this healing, this awakening to the causal chakra today. Um, all you have to do is just allow. That's all you have to do. And get comfortable. You can be either seated or lying down, it doesn't matter. So when you're comfortable and when you're ready, I like to begin my activations by getting you connected to the seventh plane, which is the energy of all that is, and simultaneously grounding you into the energies of Mother Earth, okay? Because we are humans, we need to be grounded in our energy. So in order for us to receive, excellent, pretty, thank you. In order to receive, we need to be grounded into Mother Earth. So when you're comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and get yourself centered. Get yourself in the moment. Taking your attention and your focus and your awareness into your heart space. Calling back all parts and pieces of you anywhere you are in another time or another place. Calling all soul fragments back to you and washing them clean in God's light. Anywhere your focus or your attention is elsewhere, 
Anywhere you're thinking about what you need to do later on, what you didn't do earlier today, simply call all of that back to you and bring your focus into the heart space. And taking a deep breath in, pulling in all the love and light and support that is around you at all times and anchoring that in your heart center. And allowing yourself to just breathe normally, focusing on the even rise and fall of the breath in the chest center. And taking your awareness down now from the heart space, going down through the body, through the legs, out through the soles of the feet, and activating roots at the soles of the feet allowing these roots to grow deep down into all the layers of the earth going through dirt and rock and crystal, extending all the way down to the heart chakra of Mother Earth, to the crystalline core. And here you will either see, feel, or imagine a warm golden light. Allow yourself to go into the center of that light and really feel the essence of this warming, nurturing, supportive, unconditionally loving energy that Mother Earth holds for you. And as you feel this energy like a warm embrace or a soft cloak of energy around you, you are also tapping into the infinite abundance, wisdom and knowledge that billions of years of the Earth holds. And now gather this energy up and bringing it all the way up through the layers of the earth, back up through the soles of the feet, into the legs, back up into the heart center. And allowing this awareness now from the heart center to go up and out of the crown of the head, going all the way up, all the way up, 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 beyond the layers of lights, beyond the universe, going up further up still, and anchoring this energy in to the very heart of your higher self, the highest version of your higher self that you're able to access at this time, and further up still, all the way up into the energy of all that is into the bright white sparkly lights, the energy of pure creation. And allow this energy to anchor there. And so you are now connected through your heart space to the highest realm, into the heavens above, into the seventh plane, the energy of all that is. And from your heart space all the way into the crystalline core of Mother Earth. Grounded and protected below, and supported and elevated above. And as you allow your energy to expand into this space, I want you to notice this area just behind the back of your head. You could imagine looking at the back of your body, shifting your awareness now so that you are looking at the back of your head and seeing a little ball of light begin to form. It's about three inches away from the back and center of your head. And it's this ball of sparkling, dynamic, bluish silver light. And you notice a bit of purple coming in, a bit of indigo coming in. And it's twinkling like a star. Just become aware of it, begin to notice the energy of it. And starting to feel 
into the essence of it, going beyond the vision of it, going into the essence. What does this feel like to you? And notice now, as this ball of light, this dynamic, sparkling ball of light is starting to become bigger, expanding out in all directions, And as it does so, notice how a point of light starts to stretch upward from the top of this ball of energy, and how a beam of light stretches down and out from this ball of energy, creating two points of light stretching out above, reaching up above, and reaching down below. And just sit with this energy. And as you're witnessing this, again, go beyond the vision of what you're seeing and go into the essence of this chakra. Notice how comfortable it feels to just sit with this expanded energy. It's very comforting. Notice any messages that are coming in for you. And notice now as you look into the center of this ball of energy that's even now expanding, What do you see in the center of this ball of energy? What vision is beginning to form? Do you see a being? Are you seeing words? Maybe you're seeing the writings of some light language, language that you can't decipher or understand with a linear mind. You may be hearing soft whispers here coming in. And I want you to imagine just below this expanding ball of light, there is a small dial. Imagine taking your awareness now, hold a vision in your mind's eye of reaching your hand out and touching this dial. And now just tuning it in. Tuning this dial, almost like you're tuning into a radio station. You are tuning this causal chakra now to receive the clearest transmission that is available for you at this time. Notice how the light of the causal chakra becomes even more vibrant. Notice the changes in your physical body as you tune this in, receiving the optimal signal for you at this time. You are tuning into realms that are beyond your consciousness that exists here on 3D and in 3D reality. You are allowing yourself to step into and merge with energies that are part of fourth dimensional awareness, fifth dimensional awareness, and even beyond and into sixth dimensional awareness. Take a deep breath in. Sometimes when that awareness get in, gets introduced to you, you tend to go out of your body. I want you to just take a deep breath in. And as you do so, push the energy on the exhale all the way down into the belly, about three inches below the navel and three inches inward. I want you to ground the energy of what's coming in into the physical body. And if you feel this isn't grounded enough, take another deep breath in. 
And on the exhale, push this energy all the way down and now through the feet, through the roots of the feet, and all the way down into the crystalline core of Mother Earth. Sometimes we tend to go out of our bodies and out of our minds when we hear that we're going into fifth or sixth dimensional awareness. That's perfectly normal. But I just want you to bring back all the awareness into your physical body because you can't use what we're bringing in here today unless you are grounded. We are human beings. Even though we can explore in fourth, fifth, or sixth dimensional or even beyond awareness, we must always be, while we occupy a physical vessel, here in 3D. Okay? There is no other way for us to filter our experience other than being in this physical vessel at this time. So we have to ground this energy. And so now that you've fine-tuned this dial, perhaps you've found the optimal signal here, as you sit with this energy, and it almost feels like a meditation, for some of you, this may be a first meeting with this energy. And for others, who are a little further along the path of working with the chakras at, this, at these levels, you are experiencing an up-leveling in your awakening. This is like a fine tune and an upgrade for wherever we are. I'm meeting you wherever you are with this causal chakra essence and empowerment. And since you are grounded into Mother Earth, it is safe and right and perfectly aligned for you to open up to greater awareness here today. Notice what messages are coming through for you from the angelic realms. Are you being greeted by an ambassador here? Are you being asked to come visit? the Akashic Records, the hall of records that holds your soul book, that records every thought, feeling, deed ever in this lifetime or any other one of your lifetimes. For some of you, I'm seeing a temple open up, a beautiful temple. And it holds the same vibration as the causal chakra that this is a way for you to kind of ground the experience of what's opening up to you in the causal chakra as a way to enter a temple, enter into a sacred space, since that is exactly what we're doing when we're opening up the causal chakra. We're opening up a sacred space. And as I suspected, I'm seeing a lot of sacred feminine energy here. And you may notice this temple is like this indigo and blue light blue and purple and it's sparkling just like you saw the essence of the causal chakra, the star of the causal chakra. And you're being welcomed into this temple. And this temple holds the vibration of loving kindness for yourself and for all of humanity. Greater levels of compassion and mercy. This is opening up more realms of explora exploration for you. I'm being told that there's other ways to explore your intuitive awareness at this time. This is for everyone here live. This message is for everyone. There's so much more available to you that um, you may have thought up to this time you weren't allowed to use or that you were cut off from a certain level of it. That is not the case. And you may find after this essence and empowerment today, stepping into more of your power as an intuitive, as a psychic. And don't be thrown off by the word psychic. We are all psychic. And you are allowed to, you are safe to, it is right to. You give yourself permission to open up to greater levels of awareness exploring more of your psychic abilities and your intuitive gifts at this time. And so it is great. Thank you. 
And as we go into this temple, we explore this big hallway. And there is a crystal door at the end of this hallway. gently walking down this hallway and this energy has such a high vibration as you walk through this hallway you just feel completely enlivened energized awake at home so much of your infinite nature resides here you are at home in your divinity here and as you continue down this hallway, you notice this beautiful crystal doorknob that's glinting and sparkling. And as you turn the doorknob on this giant crystal door, you walk in and you see this almost octagonal shaped, it looks like an octagon, big beautiful open room. And the roof is not covered, it is open to the sky, and you, when you look up, you see nothing but swirls of stars and galaxies above. And it feels so expansive, it feels so perfect, supportive and loving. And you may notice some guides here for you, Archangel Christiel is here, acting as an ambassador since this temple is his realm. You may also experience Archangel Shamuel, Michael, and you may be meeting some new guides here today. Part of the angelic kingdom. You may be experiencing or meeting here your guide that is wanting to take you on a tour of your Akashic Records. Just notice whatever comes in for you here. And you may not have any of this awareness at this time, and that's okay too. Sometimes when we get introduced to energies like this, especially when we've never worked with uh, the higher chakras before in this capacity, we still might be holding a little bit of ego resistance. So don't be surprised that uh, when you go to bed tonight, you will have some very lucid dreams and maybe you'll meet that guy that is aligned for you at this time in a dream. You may have what I call little waking meditations or waking awakenings, which you will receive messages. You'll hear something in conversation and it will allow you to have that aha moment, that epiphany that may come in for you as well. And simply, again, we are in this place of the sacred feminine and we are aligning with the energies of receiving. So the more you align with the vibration of receiving, of allowing, you will put yourself in alignment with any messages, signs, symbols that are meant for your highest and best good at this time. And so remember here, we are just in a place of exploration we are a place of just opening up and allowing. Whatever is, is meant to filter into your awareness now, simply let it come in without judgment. Allowing this to be experienced from as neutral a space as we possibly can. Are you being called to explore a specific question, to get answers to a specific question here? If so, what is that question? Go ahead and ask it. You can simply ask, what am I meant to know that is for my highest good at this time? What can I do to be in divine grace at this time? What am I meant to explore at this time? Awaken to, open up to? And simply notice what comes in for you. 
again, just allowing yourself to be in this space without judgment. When this process starts to feel complete, and you've asked your question, maybe you've received an answer, and if not, know that it will come to you in divine timing. You can thank whoever showed up for you here, thank this energy, this vibration. this feels complete, in your mind's eye, hold the vision of you leaving this beautiful temple, this beautiful vibration of energy, going back through the crystal door, again walking out this hallway, and maybe back down the steps of the temple. Take a deep breath in here. Allow yourself to release anything that feels heavy or dense. And in your mind's eye, once again, be in that space where you are looking at the star of the causal chakra that brilliant star that's expanded in all directions. Simultaneously holding that sparkling blue, indigo, and purple light. And notice now how this energy is starting to dissolve. The star is becoming smaller. Maybe you'll notice here that it doesn't go away completely. It can just be this little speck of energy. And there it is, just behind the back of your head and right in the center. This is a way for you to keep this energy open, but not so expanded where it feels uncomfortable. And so imagine taking your awareness back now so that you feel fully back in your body Imagine taking the connection of where you have your energy anchored into the seventh plane and bringing this all the way back down and through the heart chakra of your higher self, all the way back down and into the crown of your head, going back down into the heart space. And following this line of connection, this cord of connection, as it goes down through the body, out through the soles of the feet, back through the roots that are connecting you all the way back into the crystalline core of Mother Earth. Following this energy down, all the way down. And take a deep breath in. And asking Gaia to cleanse or transmute any lingering negative energy you may be feeling here. Thank you, Gaia. Anything that feels dense or heavy, simply ask Gaia to transmute that for you. And now take this pristine energy and gather it all the way back up. From the core of Mother Earth, going through all the layers of the earth and back into the body, through the legs, and up into the heart space. And taking a deep breath in here. And on the exhale, pushing the energy deep down into the belly, allowing yourself to feel fully physically grounded back in your body. And as you take another deep breath in, stating, 
I energetically disconnect from these energies now. And when this process feels complete, take another deep breath in and open your eyes. Ha, huh. okay, and we're back. So how was that little journey? <laughs> how does everyone feel? I'd love to hear um, how you're all doing. Um, so while I'm waiting for you to respond here, let me know about your experience. I'd like to know what happened for you, what you saw, uh, what you felt. Um, this is something that you can listen to again. I'm going to be putting this up on my YouTube page, so you'll be able to access that there. It's just under my name, Catherine Missell. This will also be up on my business page as a replay, so you can listen to this again. And this can be something that can be really powerful to listen to uh, in your earbuds right before you go to sleep at night. Um, you can listen to this again tomorrow if you want. You could listen to it tonight if you wanted to and get even more messages. If it feels like a really powerful transition um, or transmission of energies, I, I should say, um, and you want to pull back a little bit, you are the best judge of your own energy. So if it feels like it's a little too much, um, you can give it a couple days and wait and run it again. And understand that any time that we run these kinds of energy activations, you go through an integration period where you're processing a lot of the energies that, that are coming through. This time of integration, this time of processing, is just as important as the energy activation itself. Um, it's allowing the, the dust to settle, as it were, um, allowing all the energy to go exactly where it needs to to serve you best at this time. Uh, left leg was in pain. How does that feel now? Because I can clear anything that felt like a little, a little too much. And again, you know, if it's the left side of the body, this corresponds with directly the sacred feminine, our experience of the divine feminine energies, especially the energy of receiving. So you may want to explore this in meditation and ask, where am I not allowing myself to receive? Um, but there is, again, this time of integration that we need to be able to process these energies and you may find that that will go away, that will be something that will, um, will lessen in its intensity. Uh, and Priti says her hand to, oops, not doing that. Your right hand or your left hand, Priti? Kathleen says, affirming experience, calming, excellent, blissful. Okay, nice, very nice, ladies. Thank you for sharing. And even though you may not have picked up any visions during this causal chakra, empowerment again you will experience probably more lucid dreams and dream time you may even have very very restful sleep tonight um, and be aware just what comes into your awareness during your waking life you know times in your day when we're involved in activities that can be very grounding like if we're just vacuuming or we're throwing a load in the washing machine or we're outside just walking when we are in that mode where the ego kind of steps aside and almost feels trance-like when we're involved in certain physical activities, we're also in a place of grounding and receiving. So just be aware of what floats into your awareness during those times. Uh, relaxing, Maya says, your left. Okay, again, there's that left side of the body, Priti. So I would really spend some time with that in meditation. Um, lots of new guides are like beings, awesome lots of visions it was amazing oh cool Maya that's awesome um, so if you like these energies this is just a snapshot of what is in the chakra clearing and awakening eight-week live workshop and so if you love what this is if you love the way this feels there's seven more weeks of this and it's actually this is just a snapshot because each week that we spend in the chakra clearing and awakening really is like a master class in, in and of itself on each chakra. So we go for about an hour and a half, sometimes more, depending on what kind of beliefs we clear. And it's also a way to work with me where I do energetic healing with you right there in real time. So that's an even more dynamic way to work with these energies. Maya said, I actually connected with my spiritual teacher who is still living. I got a lot of messages. Thank you. That's awesome. I love hearing that. I love that. 
Um, that's incredible, ladies, and I want to just thank you for sharing this space with me. It was so lovely to be with your energies and to see how you are all um, integrating these energies with the activation. When I do this activation with you, um, I see all of your energies individually, but I also see you, I put you all in a golden sphere of light together. So not only do I see how your energies um, interact with each other, but how you are processing what's going on in real time with this activation. And don't worry, I send all of your tethers back to you. All of your energy gets sent back to you, washed clean in God's light. I take mine back too. Um, that's a really powerful way to ground our energy and to make sure that you know, we just get the essence of what we're bringing in. We're not taking on any, anybody else's stuff, right? Um, thanks, Catherine. Yes, it's a powerful class. And um, so again, I'm going to put the full description of the course workshop up and the happy hour pricing, I'm going to call it. I'm going to leave that up for today. Um, you can do the one-time payment of $2.99. But if you want to do the payment plan, um, that is two payments of $1.89 because that's part of the early bird pricing. And if you can't do the $2.99 today, the early bird pricing of $3.33 is going to be good until December 16th. But I highly recommend this class. If you want to do a deeper, deeper exploration of your chakras and have a more profound understanding of how they work and how they are really powerful grounding antenna for you, allowing you to bring in these heightened energies and understand it here on this plane of existence and use it as spiritual tools, then I highly recommend this course and you will love it and you'd be most welcome. So I hope this was an amazing experience for you. Um, please feel free to add additional comments or questions in the feed. Um, after this, I will be posting the replay if you didn't get to catch all of this um, in my Ascending Earth Creatrix group. And if you're not in my Ascending Earth Creatrix free Facebook group, you will love it. And also I have a mastermind. If you really like this activation here today and you want um, these kind of activations all month long, every month, I have a mastermind, Heal, Awaken, Ascend, which is a $45 a month mastermind that you can join and you will love it. The women in there are amazing. So I want to wish you so much love and light. Thank you for joining me and thanks for sharing your beautiful essence with me today. Bye-bye.